You know, in the tutorials that I've done for Patreon, you know, th those are um, studies and demonstrations on the process of painting and how to begin, develop, and finish a painting, whether it's a landscape, a still life, or floral, or, or a portrait. But I want to show you a selection of finished paintings. You know, tutorials are all about the nuts and bolts and the how-to, how, how to do a painting uh, using the concepts of classical realism, which are the concepts of the great masters. And when I say masters, it's not just old masters, it's besides Rembrandt, you know, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Rubens, Sargent, you know, he wasn't an old master, he was a uh, you know, more of a modern master by, by our terms, you know. But so he, had, he uh, used the same principles. So he's a, a great master as well. So uh, just let me show you a selection of some finished paintings I've done. But uh, they all have the same concepts that I'm showing you in the tutorials. This is a, a painting of azaleas. That's a 16 inch by 20 inch painting. And my techniques were just as I've been teaching all of you, you know, I, I built this painting up and the, light, the lights I painted up to white and I glazed them with a beautiful magenta. So these, these are techniques, the old master techniques and see the transparencies in the darks in the background and uh, there are transparencies in the glazes on the flowers. This is an interior a friend of mine who came to visit me in my studio. And so I'm using all the techniques that I've been teaching you. So, you know, I built up the lights and kept the darks more transparent, you see. That's also a 16 inch by 20 inch painting. This was done in one sitting in about a couple of hours. Here's a very large still life I painted as a commission for some people. And you know, once again, you can see how, how far I've finished this painting. But it all, it all starts with the great concepts and so I have different textures here, you know, silver and porcelain, got the fruit, flowers. And all of these things are what I'm teaching you, all of you who have signed up to be patrons. Now here's a portrait. So this is a 12 by 16 inch portrait. It's always the same concepts, the great uh, space light atmosphere. You know, you have to have structure and form and color. Talk about all that. Here's a landscape of a misty morning. It's hard to tell in this video, but it's a lot of violets in this painting. It was an early morning, so violet controlled everything from the trees to the water to the rocks you know with the fog it was a foggy morning so it had a lot of beautiful subtlety to it but then you notice the richness in the foreground foreground is always rich no matter what time of day it is well here's another still life concentrating on the texture of glass and I did a, a tutorial on glass, but this painting is a lot more finished to it. So I just wanted to show you, you know, if you paint loosely or you can paint, you know, make it a little tighter. Here's another landscape. This is a 12 by 16 inch landscape. And you can see the transparencies in this painting, I think. You know, it has a glow to it. The trees and the water, you know, the trees that are in the light and the water with the shimmer in the light, that, that was all painted up to white and then I let it dry and then I glazed it. So I was really working with technique even with this landscape. 
So we'll take a little bit of a close up for you. You see the blues in the distance. You know, we get darker and richer as you come forward. This painting is 36 inches by 48 inches. And I, you know, this collection, I purchased a collection of musical instruments because I wanted to paint them. So I set it all up and painted them. So in fact, uh, technique wise again, wherever you see the lights, the lightest lights, I painted those up to white and glazed them down. So this painting, uh, has to do with the um, the arts, music, painting, and dance. So that's just a quick little behind the scenes video on uh, some of the more finished paintings that I've done. So stay with me, we're gonna do more tutorials on floral painting and then drawing and painting the head and the figure. So just stay tuned.